Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly collective tarot reading session for you Pisces. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. Okay. This reading for today Pisces, this is your weekly collective reading. Let us see what's happening towards you Pisces. What is the message that is meant for you to know, ready for you to know. This is for the sign of Pisces, okay. Before I start, Pisces, I would like to thank you guys for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your support. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. And if you would like to further connect with me, Pisces, I invite you to also be part of our mailing list to do that. The direct link to join in our newsletter or mailing list, it's down the description box below, okay? Um, we send out new moon, full moon, bonus reading. So if you want to get that directly from, from your inbox, please uh, subscribe, okay? So in today's reading, uh, we will be looking at your recent past, your current energies, um, what you don't see coming, and then we'll be looking at the immediate future predictive outcome and advice. Depending on the message for today, I will let you know if there's a need to extend the reading, okay? So before we start, let's pull some overall energy for you, okay? What's the overall energy for Pisces? Let's get three cards. Okay, you've got the moon card, which is you, okay? Um, you've got the six of pentacles. And you've got the, the eight of cups. I feel like emotionally, Pisces, you're about to move on um, from something or from someone or from a situation that really made you so confused you know moon card you've been really navigating a very dark 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 story for some of you for some of you it's simply as it's simple as you know you're confused which one to go which one to do which you know it's kind of overwhelming but with the help of a friend or for some of you you manage to deliver the context, the emotions, the conversation. Something tells me that there is a completion in here. You're very confused, but you managed to complete it. And now you can really say goodbye to a very confusing or a very scattered emotions. You're about to exit the face. You're about to say goodbye with a very complicated, complex situation or emotions like i really feel like you're gonna start a new cycle eight of cups yeah nine of pentacles so for some of you really really good news because you'll be able to find balance with your money with your time and your emotions is more settled it's more precise it's more firm okay so you're done or moving away from the darkness or uh, the emotional instability you're gonna walk away from there you will start to understand things okay so that's your vibe okay overall energy now let's pick up more um uh, let's pick up more um let's pick up more intuitive for you let's go to specific okay coming in the past the recent past is you've got the four of wands in reverse the ace of pentacles and the fool card um, it seems to be there was something related to home or relationship or probably career that it hasn't started or it never started or it there was some difficulty getting things on board. Okay, because Ace of Pentacles, when this is in reverse, this is like a missed opportunity. And Four of Wands, this is stability, but it's in reverse. So I feel like whatever situation or person or project that you were working on um i feel like you have not put the right passion or there is a requirement that if you would like the ace of pentacles and the four of wands to move further you have to take a bit of a risk because in here the ace of pentacles in reverse because Maybe you need to look into the action. Maybe you need to look into the passion. Maybe you look. You need to 
to go above and beyond to whatever goal or person or situation that you're working on, okay? Because it feels um, it feels very flatline. Whether this is career, whether this is something about home, or maybe it could be a, a budding relationship, but it really needs a bit of a bit of a push or um, an edgy, a very edgy style, something different, something above the normal that you need to put because this is the four of wands and the ace of pentacles so something tells me that this opportunity this person this situation it's still here but it's needing a big nudge to proceed okay now let's look at the let's look at the person and the situation connected to your energy all right okay eight of wands okay wands passion and then eight of pentacles yep so the person or the situation or the project that you're working on that you want to be with um they would like to proceed they're still interested with you but you know sorry but they would like to see you more active more um vocal more participative they want more of your time they're at the same page as you are but you need to really show up front that you would like to take a risk or you need to be very bold with your interest with your action okay now that is the past or the recent past now looking into your present or current energies you've got the world you've got the world card in here you could be traveling very soon king of swords in reverse you could be dealing with someone who's younger or maybe same age as yours who's acting very immature the high priestess i feel like you're very quiet and observant with this person and on top of this pisces you're also looking into completion traveling um this person this king of swords uh, it's getting on your nerves okay um, I feel like this is really you, the high priestess. You're very quiet, you're very silent, you're very observant, and you're also very patient, okay? You're very patient because you want to complete the cycle. You're very patient because you look forward for a travel or for a new thing, new situation, a new project to come in. And I feel like you, you would like this person to be in that cycle uh, something tells me that you're very patient with the king of swords because you want this king of swords this person to be part of your world yeah okay but they're acting this person is acting like um i don't know not a team player very clumsy not really serious because this is the high priestess i feel like this is you you're super duper serious you know like you're really you know like this is game on and the king of swords is like way way far away way far from your energy like far away from your energy yeah um so i've clarified the king of swords five of pentacles and the king of pentacles i feel like if you give this person an ultimatum then they will react way better okay so in this reading if you if you keep on being softy or giving and flexible or if you're you're not going to speak at all and if you're not going to voice what you see is actually what you get so you need to speak up you need to really tell this person that you know if you want to be part of this project or world or travel then they need to really level up they need to man up you know they need to really step up and commit more time commit more availability because you can't do it all alone you know in here and you want them to be with you something tells me that you need to really you need to say like you know like maybe you're kind of thinking that by being quiet they'll pick up you know i'm, I'm really getting like high priestess maybe if if, if you think you're going to if you think that you are going to get this person's approval by being kind and flexible no it's they're already think, taking advantage of you like they're so they're so confident that things they're they're confident that you would be around they're confident that you would pick up the slack or you would pick up the work load okay so you need to speak up you need to say really uh something very firm about this person assertive you need to assert them this is not cool 
yeah nine of wands you need to really a bit be, you need to be a bit demanding and you need to really tell this person and point out to this person hey i'm not gonna be a high priestess all the time you know so something tells me the person the situation that you're connected with they need a nudge <clears throat> you need to wake them up and you know assert them yeah you need to be a queen of wands you know yeah if you can't i'm hitting the word if you can't join if you can't beat them join them so you know instead of you doing all the work leave it so they're gonna get worried because oh you know pisces is not moving or you know something to do with you need to be assertive in in general i really feel like you need to really voice out you need to be assertive because they can commit this person can they can commit and they're scared not to have you you know they're they're quite lazy like complacent lazy and you know like suing like stalling that's the vibe i'm getting from this person but they do can commit you've got to really like this this person is more of a follower you know this this person is more of a follower so you can really take over this person and they they will say yes yeah um yeah hidden energy whoever this person is they're more of a follower they're more of a i mean they're fun to be with you know if they if they like if they're like what they're doing you can really depend on them but in terms of responsibility not so much it's you are really the leader you know it's it's you are the if you want happiness and if you want things to work this is something that you need to take over yeah ten of cups knight of cups something tells me you're dealing with a person who's passive who's gonna sit there and like if you if you tell them do you want to go for a date they would say yes do you want to do that yes you know but you have to take charge it doesn't like for them it's it's not about who initiate it's more of they're a, they are a person who's like a couch potato like they probably said i like you i miss you but they're not really good in planning you know that it's 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 really not in their um it's not in their what do you call that um i'm really getting like a very like they joke but when it comes to action and creativity and fun to be with or maybe work there's a part of them that's boring that's that's what i'm getting in here so if you want to have fun you need to or you if you want them to work or have fun you need to be creative with them but they they're a follower you know yeah this person is a follower and you are the leader so if this is a relationship you would you would really have to take over with this person they will cheer you up they were and they will cheer you up they will carry the bags they're like the second like the behind the scene like you would be the, the main actor and because the, the high priestess this is you and they will support you like this is just a support it will never be a leading lady or a leading man it will always be this way yeah with this person but they're a follower um they're kind-hearted but sometimes they could be lazy and you need to give them a nudge but if you remind them they will commit you know yeah so <laughs> this is your reading thank you so much Pisces for coming back thank you so much for being here it's a pleasure doing the reading to you guys I will see you very soon you have a great day bye bye